Now, your expert system is one of the major important system that you have in ICT. I did tell you before that when we refer to systems, we refer to uh, a combination of hardware, software, user, and procedure. It's just, just like when you buy a new laptop, you just have the hardware. You have to install the software, which is a printing system. And then you have to have a user who should be using it. And then you should know the procedures. Procedure means how to print it. So an okay, expert system the same way is only completed when you have these four components, okay? So whenever we talk about systems, we'll always keep this in mind that we talk about hardware, software, user, and procedure. That's the first thing, generally speaking. Now, what is expert system? An expert system basically is a system that holds the knowledge of an expert team. Okay, so um, a system that holds the not hold the holds the knowledge of an expert. Oh, sorry, expert. Okay, or a particular field. Okay, now, for example, if you talk about there are lots of expert systems, you uh, types, although we'll discuss the types later on, I'll just give you the example right now. We have the medical expert system. Uh, we have the car fault. Okay, we have the main Sorry, mineral, mineral uh, exploration expert system. We have the animal and plant identification expert system. We have the uh, what you call that, uh, tax expert systems are made. I'm going to explain you all of these, no worries. Then we have is the credit analysis expert system. Okay. So these are some, some examples. But before why we do that, we, we should know what the most typical question is, the components of an expert system. Now, what do we mean by the components? The first component of expert system that you have is your the knowledge base. Now, the knowledge base basically uh, is what? Okay. Uh, is created using data mining process that happens to extract relevant information. I'm making notes for you as well. Relevant information about a particular topic and save it in a database. So that's what your, what your knowledge base is. For example, you can interview the best neurosurgeon in the world, okay? And you can collect all this information, okay? And, uh, okay, uh, I, can, I can further elaborate, I can further elaborate this. Uh, collection of all this information happens to be fast similarly dated with the with the help of of uh, uh, okay let me write them to make it look nice let me just write over here of interviews of observations of
questionnaire. And lastly, we call it the sampling. Now, what we're trying to say over here is that we have to, for example, if we talk about the best neurosurgeons in the world, we have to interview the best neurosurgeons. We have to take our time. We should know what is required. We are going to interview them. By interviewing them, we will have a set of questions that we will ask them. What is required by the system? Okay. So there will be lots of questions where we have to ask in the interview. We will be doing observation. Yeah. We might be looking at how they work. There will be lots of points we will get by observation. We will have uh, pre-made a questionnaire that way we can give it to either directly the person who is related to the topic, or maybe we could even give it to uh, other people who are indirectly related to the topic. Maybe some people who might do the lab diagnosis, something like that. Sampling means we can take document samples uh, that can help us to get more information out of it. Again, the same way. So obviously the first thing is we have to collect the relevant information using these four methods and we have to create a knowledge base. This process, like I told you, is known as data mining. The next one, once we have created a knowledge base, we talk about is creating the input, the input screen, okay? Input screen, basically it's a form. So there's nothing much, we just have to create over here is a properly designed, properly designed graphical user interface that will probably have just have a text box and, um, and button and you'll click, it will ask you further questions, keep on asking questions. But anyway, um, in between both of this, I'll just take this down, in between this, because it comes in between and happens to be one of the most important, important point of an expert system, which is the inference engine. Now your inf inference engine is what? Inference engine is that helps you to extract information. For example, I'll just give you a good example that when you Google up and you type something, it's Google's inference engine that searches all that relevant information from the Google web database. So if you search for ICT, it will give you all the related websites where ICT word has been mentioned. Now, inference engine works how? Inference engine basically has a further important component, which we'll just talk about, which is your rule base. Rule base basically is uh, using multiple if then else conditions we can extract relevant information out okay so rule base basically does this way that if you find this then you display this. Otherwise, you find this. So uh, using multiple if then else condition. There's more to it, but obviously it's not our syllabus to discuss that in detail. So inference engine basically does is that um, I would it it would extract information from the front end. Front end. My front end. What I mean is your your form that we made okay and okay text information oh, sorry uh, uh mm, not extract i will not use the word extract it would get information from the front end and extract information from the back end are you with me okay ayan are you with me Yes, sir. yes, sir. Yeah. So when we talk about front end, front end means the form where you type in. Back end means the database from where you want to get the information. It's known as the back end. Yeah. So it would get information from the front end and extract the information from the back end. That's what your inference engine is doing. It, it's extracting the information. You get my point. Okay. Now, uh, although we, yeah. we, have, we have not started discussing it in our syllabus yet, but 
uh, expert systems are now being integrated through AI. They have become more intelligent. Okay, so obviously the the accuracy of information as in right now, 2023, happens to be a lot more than it was four years back, five years back. Because AI is helping you to extract very relevant information now. Anyway, so your, your, your um, components, knowledge base, very important. Inference engine um, has rule base. Okay. And rule base, I would also like to mention this as well. Uh, rule base uses interrogation tech techniques to extract the most relevant uh, information. Okay. I was okay. Right. Now, interrogation yeah. obviously interrogation means to to get something, to extract something. So rule base is there to interrogate. An inference engine has rule base. Okay. Then lastly, obviously, there's, there's another point, uh, but obviously it's very common. It's obviously the, the output. Output could be either in the form of a printout. It could be either in the form of a, a message or probably it could be a visual display unit, a VDU. So you should be aware of the term VDU, visual display unit. Okay. Now we don't know what the output will be. That, that's not the important point. Now let's come to the examples and okay, then we can talk about the advantages. Okay. Advantages. Well, in medical expert system, obviously, uh, what you have is you have lots of good paid expert systems where you can type in the problem, and after some series of questions, you will get some relevant information out. That's your medical yeah. expert system. Okay. Are we so okay. a car fault expert system basically does is that. Uh, you maybe you see have seen or not, you can attach that expert system to the BIOS. Uh, there, there's this chip uh, under the steering. Okay. Uh, you can attach it directly to the pins and the BIOS of the expert system directly, and it will diagnose what the problem is. Another kind of expert system that you have for cars is that you can type in the cues. Okay. You can type it yourself and it will give you the output. Okay. Then you have yeah. is mineral exploration. Now, mineral exploration basically means is, okay, now that, that that's this is something really important. Uh, in case of mineral ex exploration, now you might know that companies actually spend uh, lots, billions and billions of dollars just to find out whether the drilling process will be successful and will we get the minerals or crude oil. Now, expert system basically can help us do this. Because in this case, our expert system will actually have is a huge database model. Now, what do I mean by model? You know, your weather forecast model works. It has data of 50 years, and it can help you to predict whether that will rain tomorrow or not. Why? Because when it was uh, 1st of June, and it was this much humidity, this much pressure, this much temperature, this much wind direction, there was always 90% probability that this would happen. There would be storm, there would be rain or whatever. I mean, I don't know. When obviously it's not only that, we we will compare it with the actual um, uh, clouds or whatever, physically what happened, what, what is there. We'll all look at that as well. But database models actually are your, your for years and for decades, you, you save something. Now, let's say, in mineral exploration, you have geologists who have saved information about each in particular area, what uh, this area has, what we had explored previously, what are the probabilities. If you find sulfur, you have more probability of finding magnesium, just an example. So a database model of uh, the region can help us a lot to start the process or not. So yes, there can be significant uh, chances of success if uh, we use an expert system and the expert system has a huge database model, we will obviously be successful in that and we will come up with a, with a, a positive result. 
Animal and plant identification is where we come across different plants. We still do it. We want to see these plants fall in which category. Are they edible or not? So instead, we do a lot of research. We can use an expert system to find out about animal, plants, fish. Every time uh, in the ocean, we keep on finding new species. So geologists, you have, they have animal and plant identification expert systems that are actually helping them a lot to identify these. Now, tax is really important. Tax could be for the country, tax could be for individual, tax could, could be for a company. Now, why do we need to use an expert system? Uh, a tax expert system, I'm saying. So, look, it's very important. Because an expert system, first of all, will not do any sort of nepotism. Uh, it will not commit a mistake. Uh, it will do all the calculations really fast for you. Uh, an expert system or tax expert system would have been developed by, with the help of, with the knowledge of, uh, by interviewing them. Uh, so we would, will know that if the following people who are expert in this particular field and the expert system has used the knowledge, then I think so we should be adapting the same techniques. We would totally rely on such a kind of expert system. We would definitely take the same steps as per the expert system and the success rate will be a lot more. Secondly, there will not be any errors. Um, they can work for a longer time. They can work for 24 seven. We can replicate these expert systems. We can send it to different branches. It can be a training tool for the new employees that come in. So you see, lots of advantages keep on coming up. Credit analysis. Yeah. Credit analysis basically uh, is also related with more uh, uh, mortgage. Mortgage basically is that you know what mortgage is. Uh, you want to take some loans, yeah, like something pay. that you get from like a bank or something. Exactly. So credit analysis or mortgage expert systems are very important for these financial organizations because if I want to get a mortgage, they will calculate how much uh, assets do I have, how much liabilities do I have, uh, how much uh, movable assets do I have. Upon all these calculations. What they will do is they will give me like 50 to 60 percent of the loan of the total amount. Now, this seems to sound very easy, but actually, credit analysis and mortgage uh, calculations tend to be far more complex in buying these uh, financial organizations. And if if uh, these organizations they they start doing nepotism and they start uh, uh, allowing corruption to go on, then they will obviously, the organization will fail. So it's very important nowadays that credit analysis, these mortgage houses, they, they depend on expert systems so that their profitability increases to a lot more extent. So depending on ICT nowadays is, is not uh, just a choice, it's a necessity. They have to do it. They don't do it, they will suffer a lot of revenue. So obviously, yeah. I, I just told you all, all these details will be entered uh, and uh, we will be able to know how much loan he has to be given. So this is what credit analysis is. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, your expert systems is not limited to this, man. Expert system can be used everywhere. Maybe I did discuss with you last time or not. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, that, um, Wait, no. I mean, I, I, I was uh, developing an expert system for students Okay, um, maybe student counseling. Many students have a problem that they want to apply in universities and uh, they, 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 there's no website particularly that can help them. So I, I was working on an expert system the way they could just type in their qualification and in which career they want to go, uh, in which country, in, in, in locally or internationally. And the, the expert system would ask them a few questions and will give them uh, the options. Now, obviously, such a kind of expert system has to be updated uh, yearly. So that could be an automatic process as well. That could be done. But I don't see an expert system in even 2023 right now. Maybe there are. Maybe there are. Maybe I'm wrong. But I have not seen it. But what I'm trying to say is expert systems can be developed in every field. 
in every field wherever you need the the, the, the knowledge of an expert person we need to have this and i'm telling you future is all about expert system because uh, since ai has been integrated with expert system now things are different okay because ai yeah. is uh, refining this information to such an extent that human intervention will be reduced because corporates will and have generated a lot more revenue a lot more efficiency they have saved time they have increased the productivity they have improved the reputation because of expert systems it's a full case study that you will be doing in your master level i'm telling you with full research maybe in your bachelor's as well so one of the very important important uh, system uh, which is related to ict which is not going to go away as far as the advantages of expert system are concerned i think so what would what would be the first advantage what would you say it is expensive bro advantage by that's not an advantage that's a disadvantage oh sorry uh, uh, it is easier to do like uh, always elaborate there's a way yeah i'm trying uh, to like find a way to see it okay uh we could say is that <laughs> it's an easy learning tool for the new people who join in fine you get my yeah. point right next Yeah. Yeah. What could be the advantage? Advantage. Oh, uh, I'm thinking. Can you see my screen? Yes. Don't you agree? Yeah. Obviously, I do. It will be more efficient. What else? Okay, efficiency is something else. Productivity. Yeah. You could also mention productivity with it. Okay, but I'm not writing it down. So productivity is something else as well. Okay, what else? Okay. It can be. Okay. I was so, gonna say that. Okay. What else? Uh, could there be? It can be. Uh, like. A good protection for animals because like animals are gonna have identification. Mm -hmm. So, advantage to whom? Animals. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, but 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 the, the, you've gone too far actually. You're right. You're not wrong. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Um. What else? Um, hold on. My advantages I don't really know, but the disadvantages I know. Okay, let's let's uh, discuss some disadvantages, and we'll come back to advantages. Okay, yes, tell me one. Uh, it is uh, expensive. Very good. I'll tell one. We can tell one. It has to be actually updated. Okay, many have to be updated. Okay, if you don't update, okay. it is a point, especially medical. And yeah, hold on. Hold on. Any disadvantage you could think of. Any, come on. What could oh, be the basic basic disadvantage? Basic disadvantage. Uh, no, wait, wait. There was one I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, wait, can you go up, please? Okay. Thank you.
it has hard processes like mm -hmm. it's hard to do like like um okay uh, we, we we could say is that um training required for new uh what do you call it users yes or no yeah and i city uh equipment is required and has to be up to date i still depend includes the internet speed includes the connection of uh, different terminals includes the hard drive capacity includes everything you get my point so yeah. i mean the, the this is a disadvantage you need to update it huh? uh not updating uh not only updating updating the database we're talking about updating the hardware as well that's a separate point isn't it are you with me yeah get my yeah. point so i yeah. i don't think i don't see any other disadvantage yeah one disadvantage could be is that which is true is that um not 100% uh, percent accurate it's not 100% accurate so we could say it's 99 but still it's not 100% accurate there could be errors yes or no yeah that's yeah. still a problem of expert systems even right now uh advantage i think these were the only advantages major okay uh, another advantage that we could write down is that um uh, it promotes the reputation of a organization organize right it yeah. promotes the reputation it does obviously because um, you'll be efficient you may not make any errors and stuff like that so it does it, it's it's a very very good tool a system that does it okay so so this all is your expert system um let me just uh, stop it but let me okay you don't 